Mindy Tenenbaum, nice to have you back here on Animal House Calls. And the producer of Animal House Calls, Darren Weir, so great to be across the table from you. <laughs> Fellow animal lover, uh, you know, to the nth degree. DNA My Dog, DNA My Dog, what is that? Well, it's canine heritage breed testing, and it, um, we have a relationship with a lab called Acumetrics, which started in the human DNA testing and morphed into doing canine DNA testing as well. Why would someone have their animal's uh, DNA tested? To what end? Um, there's, there's many different reasons. Sometimes it's just curiosity. Um, people have always felt there might be a breed lurking in the mix or they want to know what the breeds are in their dog because they've never been sure. Um, For health issues as well? Lots of health issues. Um, you can learn all about the genetic health um, that is related to all of the breeds in the dog. And additionally, you can also learn the personality traits that might be inherent in the dog. So a lot of people who mm -hmm. adopt from shelters often, yeah. uh, we have a lot of the shelters in Canada give out the DNA test so that people can learn what to expect. Now Fred's over here. Uh, Fred's being stunning a, German yeah. Shepherd. And what's his story? Fred uh, was cons adopted to and be considered a King German Shepherd. And he had a number of health issues and behavior traits that weren't really very German Shepherd-like, and the trainers had trouble with him, and the vet had trouble with him because he had dermatitis, and it wasn't clearing up no matter what prescriptions he was given. What did the DNA testing determine? He was, uh, his primary, sorry, his secondary breed was German Shepherd, which means that one of his parents was most likely a purebred German Shepherd. Okay. And the third level breed had husky in it. So hmm. most likely he was from one German Shepherd and one half German Shepherd, half husky. How will this help in his future health, uh, with his future health issues? Well, what happened was there's um, something called zinc responsive dermatitis that it's apparent in huskies, but no other breeds really have it. So when they found out he had husky in him, they gave him zinc, and in 24 mm. hours, it was gone. What does it cost? It's $57 okay. for the test, and you get a beautiful certificate with your dog's photo. Uh, we give you a little uh, card so that it's uh, registered for um, loss or theft of the dog. We've always got the dog's DNA on file. Do you get it through your vet, or do you go specifically to a website? Uh, to the, the website's dnamydog.com. Okay. Okay. We're getting it into the shelters and the vets right now. It's Excellent. huge in the States, but Acumetrics... Um, labs is bringing it in through Canada now. Excellent. All right. Now I want to bring this right home to our story here on Animal <laughs> oh, House Calls. Our beloved exciting. producer, Darren Weir, and, you know, makes a difference on this show each and every week because of his passion for animals. The very beginning of the show, Darren, years ago when the show kicked off, you adopted one of the little sweetie pies that came through. The very first show. Yeah. Pumpkin. You've named her. You don't know much about Pumpkin. You rescued her. No, she was a rescue, and she'd had a really horrible life before we got her. Um, and uh, when we got her, the OSPCA said, we think she might be a Lassa Shih Tzu, but we're not sure. And other vets have said, yeah, I can kind of see some Lassa Shih Tzu in her, but um, we've never really been sure what she is. So now we're going to find out. All right, so the DNA testing was done, and Mindy has the results. You don't know don't any of this. Clue, this is no. this is true no. reality television. Yes, okay. That's right. So tell us all about pumpkin. Okay. <laughs> Pumpkin's secondary breed, which means that 37 to 74% is Lassa Apso. But also... Boston Terrier. <gasps> Boston <What>? Terrier? <laughs> and uh, yes, and it's funny if you show the picture of Pumpkin. I've got another they, picture they, of her you too. Can, she, she has the Asian breeds in her, but if you look at her eyes, yeah. she's got that's the Terrier, the Boston eyes. Now there's okay. a breed that we didn't know about called a Bosapso, which is a Boston Lassa Apso mix, and most likely one of her parents was. Bosapso. Oh, now there's in the level four of her, which means 10 to 20 percent. So in the mix is Shih Tzu and Pekingese in equal parts. Now I can see I can a little see a of the Pekingese. Yeah. Yeah. Now I, I've got your your desk photo here in yeah. my hands, and maybe it's that it shows a little more. Yeah. Her muzzle and her eyes are, are the terrier, are the Boston right. part yeah. of her. And all the Asian breeds, the Lassa <laughs> and the Shih Tzu, are, contain the rest of her. So. She would have uh, in her Oops. 37 to 74 percent of the Lassa and about 35 percent of the Boston and then the Pekingese and the Shih Tzu are, um, would be in her grandparents from her grandparents DNA. Dad how do you feel? 
I'm shocked. Oh, yeah. Boston Terrier. Boston. I never but I, I think Mindy's that. right. I can see a little can, of that in the eyes now. Now that you mention it, yeah, I mean, I can, but I never, ever. Well, I have, I have your certificate with, with, uh, with the um, personality traits, and it says, okay. though bred at first for use in dog fights, today's Boston Terrier has been bred to have less aggressive tendencies, gentle, alert, very intelligent, well-mannered, Enthusiastic and occasionally rambunctious, this breed has a sense of humor. Mm -hmm. She certainly does. Oh, there you does go. it make a difference to have this information, Darren? No, I just love her the same. Absolutely. <laughs> thank you both very much, and thank you for coming in and uh, bringing Fred with you as well. A little uh, panting Fred a over beautiful there. Beautiful German Shepherd. What a great show. Thank you for watching this edition of Animal House Calls. We'll see you next week. That's so